www.thegreatwhitebrotherhood.org. Techniques for Rising Above All the Chaos Below, we will describe to you, the steps and actions that can be taken, to improve your path through life and incarnation, and, into the life, after so-called death. 1. Try to lead a sin-free life. Never cause any harm, to any human, or animal. This will include becoming vegan, eventually. Animals are sensitive beings, just as aware of being alive as you are, and to eat one, is just the same, as eating a human. So, do not eat animals. There are some people who need animal flesh, and so, they are excused from this rule, but, for the rest of us, do not eat our friends and neighbors, animals. Certainly, do not harm them in any way. We should love animals, as we love ourselves. In an ideal world, we would not eat plants, but incarnation is not an ideal world, so we must eat something. Plants are all that most people need. 2. Meditation. This is the key to escaping the confines of incarnation. We have explained how to meditate many times, so it will not be repeated here. 3. Help others, when you can. If someone needs your help, offer it freely. If you see a homeless person, begging for money, give him money. You will not regret it. As you give, so you receive, and God's angels, who are always with you, will see that you are repaid, for anything that you give to the needy. 4. Prayer. Do not pray to God, asking for something. God already knows what you need, because, you are God, pretending to be you. So, Thank God in advance, for supplying all that you need, and, you will see that God will provide. These simple acts, if followed assiduously, will, in time, stop the low rays from affecting you, and you will start to rise in frequency, under the influence of the higher rays. At that point, your spiritual body can take control of your life, and you will find that your problems will be resolved, in your favor. You will create a force field of God's power around you, and your family, that no attack can harm. You may still be attacked from time to time, but the answer to those attacks, will appear like magic, in the degree that your faith in God's protection, holds strong. Never be fearful again. Go through life doing the best that you can, and the power of God, will protect you from harm. Try the above four guidelines, and you will see that it works. Never become angry. Never become fearful. As you rise in frequency, through meditation, faith in God, and by helping others, your barrier, or force field, will grow stronger and stronger, and God's angels will stand guard over you, each and every day. Thank you for watching this video lesson. Please visit www.thegreatwhitebrotherhood.org for more lessons and free downloadable books.